Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a review and comparison of the Copic markers and the Winston & Newton brush markers. I do have a video comparing the touch markers to the Copic markers and in another video I'm comparing the brush markers to the touch markers. All links will be in the description so feel free to check them out. Quick disclaimer, all the markers were bought with my own money. I was never paid to do any review on these so these are all my opinions. Now let's move on with the review. As I mentioned in my previous video, the brush markers are very different compared to the Copic and the touch markers. The touch and the Copics have a very similar design, but the brush markers are very different. The round body makes it a bit hard for them to stay in one place. They keep rolling around on the table. But I do like the design because you can see the color right away and I don't have to pick up the brush and look at the cap. They can also stand on the table unlike the other two. When I look at the brush I can see that the brush markers are thick, even thicker than the touch markers. And I don't really like that. I do prefer the Copic markers when it comes to that because I do like the long thin brush that the Copic markers have. I don't like the thick brush on the touch markers and on these and I mentioned that in my previous videos as well. On the other side they are both tilted with a sharp angle. I don't see a difference here. They look pretty similar to me. Um, the only difference that I can see is that the brush markers are wider than the Copic markers so this will allow you to cover larger areas faster. Now before I move on to the drawing I wanted to show you my standard test that I do with all my markers because I do have many markers from various brands and I do want them to work together like I depend on them because maybe I have a blue in the touch markers that I don't have in the Copics and I really want to use it. I want to make sure that I will not ruin my drawing. Anyway, so... On the left side of the paper I used the brush markers and on the right side of the paper I used the Copic markers. I don't know what it is about the Copics but they do work with everything. You can color with any brush and once you layer and blend with the Copic it will work. In this test the brush markers performed very well. I'm very happy with the results. I'm very happy with the brush markers. They are very decent. Now I'm going to move on and show you the drawing I did using these and I will cover the prices. The brush markers come in 72 colors. They are blend friendly with alcohol based translucent ink. They have a twin tip with a broad chisel tip and a brush nib which is kind of fat. Um, they have uh, print quality streak free coverage. They cost 276 plus 20% tax for the EU from the official website that I found them. I got mine from the local art store and I paid plus shipping. It was about 350 each. No, I think I got free shipping. But I did pay 350 each, so it's kind of the same. And the Winston & Newton are also widely available, so I'm pretty sure you can find them in the local art store. Now the Copic markers, the Copic sketch come in 358 colors and they cost $7.99. Now those are in dollars because I got the prices from the official website. The Copic Chow cost $5.49 and they come in 180 available colors. If you have seen my review on the Touch versus Copic, I mentioned that I I do really like the Copic Chows. They are cheaper than the Sketch. They are just as good. They are using the same ink and the brush is the same. So I do really like the Chow. What I do, I basically buy the colors that I want in the Chow and if the Chow line does not have them then I buy the Sketch. In the past I bought only Copic Sketch but then I figured out that there's basically no difference between the Copic and the Chow, so, or the Sketch and the Chow. So I started buying the Chow and I do like them. Anyway, so the, the brush markers are good. 
they are very decent. What I don't like is that they have 72 colors. That's not a lot. I mean, you are better off with the touch markers because those have uh, more colors. I don't remember how many, I think like 200 something. Um, but you're better off with those. They are cheap. You do have to buy them online because I didn't find a local art store that sells them. So I had to buy mine online. But I prefer them over the brush markers and that's because you get more colors with the touch markers. So I don't see why I should buy these. So that was it for my little review. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer them. Even if you don't have any questions, you can just say hello. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that little bell so you will get notified for my upcoming videos. So that was it guys. I wish you a pleasant week and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye!